What if I told you there's a hidden conversation happening inside your body, right now, where your brain talks to your organs, and your organs talk back, all without you realizing it? Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's actually one of the most complex, fascinating processes keeping you alive every single day. The ongoing dialogue between your neurons and your hormones. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're excited to learn how your brain and body are constantly communicating to keep you healthy, stick around. You won't want to miss this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. And make sure to comment below with your thoughts or questions. We love hearing from you. Picture this. You're rushing to finish a big project. Your heart's pounding. You're sweating. And suddenly you can't seem to recall the simplest facts. Ever been in that situation? That's your neuroendocrine system at work. It's the thrilling and sometimes nerve-wracking partnership between your nervous system, your body's electrical wiring, and your endocrine system, the set of glands releasing hormones into your bloodstream. They collaborate, they argue, and sometimes they keep you up at night. But how do these two separate systems, one powered by lightning-fast electrical signals and the other by chemical messengers, actually work together without messing everything up? Let's start with our main characters, the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. Think of the hypothalamus as the boss of a massive corporation. It sits right in the middle of your brain, collecting intel from different departments. Your emotions, your senses, even the chemical composition of your blood. When the hypothalamus decides something needs to happen, maybe you're cold or thirsty or super stressed, it sends out a special memo called a releasing hormone. That memo travels straight to the pituitary gland, often called the master gland. Why master gland? Because it manages the rest of your body's endocrine glands, like the thyroid, adrenals, and gonads, ovaries slash tests. When the pituitary receives that memo, it broadcasts orders in the form of hormones like TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, or ACT, adrenocorticotropic hormone. Then those hormones circulate through your bloodstream, telling the appropriate gland, like your thyroid or adrenal cortex, what to do. It's a bit like a boss emailing a manager who then fires off instructions to employees. The difference, these emails are chemical signals and you can't opt out with a spam filter. So how exactly do neurons trigger hormone release? It all starts with an electrical signal. If your body senses a threat, like an upcoming exam or a barking dog, neurons in your hypothalamus fire off signals. These signals cause the release of neurohormones, like CRH, corticotropin-releasing hormone, which flows to the pituitary. The pituitary then releases ACE detake into your bloodstream, and that heads straight to your adrenal glands, which quickly produce cortisol your body's stress hormone. This cascade happens so fast that before you even realize it, your heart is racing, you're breathing harder, and you're probably sweating. Next time you feel that rush of panic, see if you can spot it. Pay attention to your body's signals. You might just catch your hormones in the act. But wait, this system isn't one way. Hormones can also tell your neurons what to do. Ever felt scattered after a long period of stress? Blame cortisol. In high doses, cortisol can actually change how your brain cells function, especially in areas related to memory and emotion. Another example, thyroid hormones can speed up how fast your neurons fire. That's why too much thyroid hormone can make you jittery or anxious, while too little can make you sluggish. Even sex hormones, like estrogen and testosterone, can alter your mood or energy levels by acting directly on neurons. You might notice mood changes during certain times of your menstrual cycle or significant energy drops when testosterone levels shift. Your neurons are literally responding to those changing hormone levels. Thankfully, this system has checks and balances, called feedback loops. If a hormone level, say cortisol, hits too high, it sends a message back to the hypothalamus and pituitary. Hey, we have enough here. 
let's chill for a bit. That's negative feedback. But in some cases, like during childbirth, you have a positive feedback loop. The hormone oxytocin increases uterine contractions, which then signal for even more oxytocin release, and so on, until the baby is born. Pretty amazing, right? It's like your body has a built-in thermostat, constantly adjusting to keep things balanced. Let's consider stress again. Imagine you're about to give a big presentation. Your brain perceives a threat. The hypothalamus initiates a chain reaction, and soon adrenaline and cortisol flood your system. You feel alert, ready to perform. But if this goes on too long, you risk burnout, memory issues, or even mood disorders. On a happier note, the hypothalamus also releases GnRH, gonadotropin releasing hormone, to spark the pituitary's release of LH and FSH. These orchestrate ovulation in females and sperm production in males, while hormones like estrogen and testosterone give feedback to the brain. This delicate dance ensures reproductive functions stay on track. Ever wonder how you keep warm on a cold day? Your hypothalamus monitors your internal temperature like a thermostat. If it senses a drop, it releases TRH, telling your pituitary to secrete TSH, which revs up your thyroid gland to increase your metabolism and produce more heat. Isn't it amazing how much of your everyday experience is controlled by this hidden neuronal hormonal teamwork? Understanding how neurons and hormones interact matters because it gives you insight into why you feel the way you do. Stress, mood swings, energy levels, all trace back to your neuroendocrine system. And here's the good news. There are ways to help maintain balance. Exercise, mindfulness, proper nutrition, and getting enough sleep are powerful tools for keeping your neuroendocrine system happy. If you can recognize the signs, like when your cortisol is spiking or when your thyroid might be underperforming, you can actually make lifestyle adjustments or speak with a healthcare professional to get things checked. It's all about turning this hidden conversation into one you can tune into. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on all the tips and tricks we've got lined up. If you found this video useful, drop us a like and let us know in the comments which part of the neuroendocrine system fascinates you the most. Let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you know someone else who'd love to learn about the magic happening in their body, share this video with them.